Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, making his CST debut, of course, Saints defensive lineman Kasim Adabali, two sacks tonight, and you were a catalyst early for this defense. Uh, national TV, I know they can see you back home in your native Germany. Was that nice to make some plays early? Uh, definitely, you know, just trying to do what people ask me to do and uh, just give everything I got. Talk about this team a week ago. You guys played admirably against Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road. Things turned out different. What was the difference this week? Coming at home, prime time, a, a stage you guys really have played well in the past. What was the difference for this defense really compared to last week and, and other prime time games in the past? Um, I think we just came out and struggled a little bit. You know, had to overcome some adversity. Getting into the second half, we did that. Came back, uh, hit a good, good couple of plays, and then uh, just couldn't execute and finish at the end. Was it uh, in the second half, it seemed like things calmed down a little bit. They jumped that 28 to 10 lead and you guys were forcing turnovers. Were there adjustments made after they jumped out to that lead? Just slight adjustments, you know, just correct the mental errors. And then, you know, coach DA was just telling, hey, go all out. You ain't got nothing to lose. Let's play. Give everything you got. So we just came out there and just trying to come with a better intensity. And you can feel the stadium. Like the moment, momentum definitely uh, was up on our side. but. Uh, as I said, we couldn't uh, finish at the end. You mentioned D.A. Dennis Allen. Uh, I know you guys all rallied around Rob Ryan, and, and he was a, a popular co coach for you guys. What's been the difference with Dennis Allen the last couple weeks since he's taken over? Um, just always harps uh, on the little things. You know, like don't leave a detail out there. You got you to gotta prepare. You got to make sure you know your stuff. And uh, I think that's really the difference in the last couple weeks that he's really, it was obvious, um, but he's really harping on it every day. Like be professional, prepared to the max. And you grew up in Germany, uh, took an unlikely path to the NFL, but I remember asking you this, this in training camp uh, you know, a couple of years ago, who did you look up to in Germany? And you said Ray Lewis, and you actually got to meet Ray Lewis before the game. What was that moment like for you? It was after the game. Oh, it was after the game. What was that moment like? Uh, it was pretty special. You know, uh, I'm sure Ray got a lot of guys come up to him, but I just told him, uh, hey, thank you for uh, you know, giving the little kid from Germany a little vision and a dream. And you know, since I'm 10 years old, I've always wanted to be at this level. And, uh, so it meant a lot to me. You see the guy I was looking up to as a, as a little kid and still look up to him. And we talk about your path. I know, uh, you know you're not awestruck anymore playing in the NFL, but it, it's a great experience. You know, growing up, what did you like about Ray Lewis? And, and, and you know, what do you kind of pattern yourself after him at all? Just like his intensity. He was always talking about people can't be stronger, faster, but ain't nobody at work in him. And it's something, you know, I, I kind of pride myself on. I remember watching him talk or listening to him talk. And I couldn't understand anything, but he was intense. <laughs> so I understood that. So I try to be the same way, really just intense and I work everybody. Talk about this defense. So you've made the most of your opportunities um, and your playing time. That has to feel good, especially on a night like this. You, you, you don't you know, want to talk about yourself after a loss, but individually, you got to feel good about making the most of your opportunities. I mean, you know, I'm a team player. You know, I'm, not, I'm not a selfish guy at all. And, you know, if coach wants me to be on special teams and do the most on special teams, that's what I'm going to do. I, I do everything I can to the most of my ability. And if coach wants me to play more on defense, I will do that and just give everything I got. But, you know, it's all for the team. And ultimately, as a team, all I want to do is win with the team. All right, well, listen, a great effort tonight. We appreciate your time and, uh, and a Merry Christmas to you. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas. All right, Kasim at Bali. And, uh, guys, we're going to keep on going with the defensive line theme. We have a guy who had two sacks tonight. And uh, we'll bring in Cam Jordan who had uh, one sack as well. He has nine on the year, one shy of double-digit sacks. Uh, this guy's debut on CST. This is a veteran of the CST postgame show, Cam Jordan. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's just talk about uh, t tonight's game uh, defensively. You know, what was the difference compared to last week? Because uh, you know, I know things, things were tough in that first half for you. Um, you know, we, we started off what I'd consider really strong, three and out. Um, you know, he was, trying to, he was trying to drop back. Throw some passes. We took advantage of the O line early, and um, that what second series to the fifth series, they scored three or four times. I mean, that's unacceptable, and that's something that we have to uh, look back at the film and clearly take account for. Um, there's nobody we can point at but ourselves, and um, that's been pretty much the story of our season so far. And um, that's not how I want to finish the season. Real ebb and flow in this game. You start strong, you struggle in the middle, but then you're forcing turnovers late, and it looked like this team was going to mount a comeback. Uh, just talk about, you know, late in this game, it seems like the defense and the offense were kind of feeding off each other. Yeah, I mean, um, somewhere in there, you know, the, we had so much fight, so much pride, we talked about it, and, and it started showing through. Um, and it, it, you know, it clearly showed too late. It should have started from the beginning of the game, and we should have been able to push on through. Um, and that's, again, that's on us. That's not playing 
uh, great complimentary football from offensive defense, offensive defense and special teams. Um, and that's something that we'll have to deal with for uh, going ahead into next week. You get your ninth sack, uh, two games to get double digit sacks with all the change on this defense, the young defensive linemen, the young linebackers to get double digit sacks this year. What would that mean to you? Um, not as much had it been a double digit win season. Um, you know, uh, double digits is great for a personal milestone, but at the end of the day, it's not about personal analytics, it's about the team. And uh, sitting at, what are we, five and, I don't even know, five and seven, it's, it's not a good look for us right now. Um, or maybe, no, we're five and nine? Five and nine, I'm sorry, yeah. Five and yeah. nine. And I was thinking of your sacks. Yeah. 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 No, um, again, that's not something to be proud of. Um, it's been it's been a, a, short, a long season of of some mishaps. Talk about the defense with Dennis Allen. I talk to some of your teammates, and they say the difference right now. Um, not that you're going to say anything bad about Rob Ryan, but it is a more detailed um, defense now. What, what are the changes that he's made, you know, since Rob has left? Um, you know, we focus on the smaller things. Focus on focus on the, the minor details. Um, but at the end of the day. Um, we're not playing to the level that we should be right now. And uh, we've, we've had some minor setbacks. I mean, we showed so much improvement from, you know, last game, and then you fall off like you did this game. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm focused on, game to game. I'm not looking at overall what happened when, you know, Rob was here, what happened when DA was here. I'm looking at what happens this upcoming week. Talk about not having a winning season this year. That's two straight years. That's not something this franchise is used to under Sean Payton. Uh, what does this team uh, do moving forward the last couple of games? I know you have played hard, even though there have been a lot of changes and injuries. I guess the defense will still have that mindset the last two games. Right. It's all about it's all about pride at this point to finish out strong and um, try to end this uh, with the last two wins. I appreciate your time. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. All right. Cam Jordan is sacked tonight, uh, but the Saints fall. We'll have a winning season this year for the second straight year. We'll have Drew Brees coming up from here in the Superdome. Back to you guys.